All right, so we're gonna break down the rhythm part for Always Free. This song is in E. It's also uh, kind of like my favorite thing to do where I'm blending major and minor. It's not exactly E minor, but it's not exactly E ma major either. <laughs> And you'll hear that immediately right when we start doing the rhythm part. So we start with uh, open E, classic cowboy chord E, and uh, it's, it's very swung, but that doesn't mean that things don't fall on the downbeat. So it's like... That's the slower version. However, there's like a little bit of a bass line aspect to it. So you start with the... And then... And I like to put my index finger on the third fret first string and I kind of bend with my ring in middle. And then there is the minor aspect of that I was talking about. But that's the thing about blues, it's always been like that. It's always been like, you know, you're singing a melody and then you bend it up or you bend it down. You know, it's a very, it's a very uh, classic thing about blues, blues singing and blues playing. A lot of bending, a lot of in-between stuff. And then going up to that, uh, to that five, uh, also known as a B. We're gonna do like another little bass line thing. I usually just do it with my index finger and I do all down pucks and I like to also mute it as well. And then, so there's a lot of muting with this one. It's like, mute, mute, mute. So that's one way you can kind of lay the foundation of it and then you can start to add all of the interesting little swung subdivi subdivided notes in between. So. That's another way you can kind of practice the hybrid mute. It's like as soon as the chord is ringing out, right? It gets muted. You can kind of practice the timing of that muting that way. And once you kind of get that under your hands, you can then start to add this little, and start to add little details even more so than you already did. And the way that you'll be able to kind of hit that automatically is by practicing the scratch down. You see what I'm saying? Instead of scratch, scratch, it's scratch, no. <laughs> yeah. I like to do hammer-ons and pull-offs there, but you can pluck all of that if you'd like. You can pluck them all, but it kind of sounds corny to pluck them all. You want to pluck, maybe you want to do like one hammer on at least. You don't want to be like, ba ta 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 ta. <laughs> this isn't Mozart. I mean, like, uh, no hate on Mozart. I'm just saying, this isn't Mozart. <laughs> you want it to be kind of messy, sloppy. You know, that's the whole thing about blues. It's all about being sloppy. That's why I like it. You know, I don't like perfectionism in, for, per, ugh. I don't like perfectionism in music. It, it drives me crazy. It's like, can we have one area of our lives where we can just be ourselves without having some kind of metered metric system? Like, you got exactly 97% notes correct, so you are 97% good. It, no, no. It's like, this is why I like playing blues. It's why I like playing the electric guitar. You know, it's supposed to be messy. It's supposed to be sloppy. It's supposed to be felt. It's not supposed to be this like, graph system where you're getting every note right. Like, come on. It's like, go be an accountant if you want that. Gosh. Yeah, so those are all downbeats, not swung. 
but then automatically it's swung again. And what you can do is you can use that same tactic. <laughs> So this like in between chords will serve you for the entire line. So check it out. So right here, I, d I go to a different form of A. So you can play A right here which you were just playing A right there when we did, when we were doing that, you know, up there, we were playing B up here, right? Right? Um, so I like to play A right here because the chord progression gets a little bit faster. You have to play the chords a little bit faster and you have to switch to the chords a little bit faster, which, as you know, playing guitar, chord switching is a very challenging thing. And then I go to this form where I bar these three and do the open A. And then I can still have access to this note right here. And I go to B here. So the chords, you notice how the chords are like, now they're switching every other beat instead of every other measure. And so that's why I like to keep my hand down here for this specific portion of this rhythm part. So we're going to go through that again. So yeah, it's like basically the crux of this is So if you want to like practice the heart of the rhythm part, everything else will fall into place if you could just get this. All the notes are there. In that, in that scratch pattern, all the notes are there. You know what I'm saying? So like just that scratch pattern is your foundation. So yeah, that is a and that is the rhythm part for always free. It's the most challenging thing about it is probably the swung nature of it, getting that feel. But if you can get that scratch pattern down, uh, you're golden. So uh, jam along, try it out for yourself. <laughs>